Hey, what's going on, man? What the hell going on, man? Hey, hey, hey. I'm eating breakfast right now, you know what I'm saying? Even though it's 2 o'clock, it's okay. It's okay. Everybody eat breakfast. Everybody eat day. You know what I'm saying? Wait. Damn, I dropped some. Bro, I don't give a fuck. If food drop on the floor, I'm grabbing that bitch and eating it. Tell it. Anyways, we got that boy Glock 9 arrested again. Again, on um, gun charges. Recently targeted in the mall shooting. This nigga get locked up in release mode in Kodak. <laughs> I swear. Of yesterday shooting is a local rapper with a gang affiliation. <laughs> Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is. All right, man. So today we're going to talk about this boy, Glock 9. Now, Glock 9 has been bubbling out there in the streets, man. Back in 2018, he got hot, man. People were really checking for him. It seemed like his career was on and popping. I already know this nigga for getting locked up. The last song I heard about Glock 9 was... Hey, look, check me out. Hey, ho. Bummy, eat that nigga like a mango, BB shit. Crack a bend the block, I ain't see shit. No job by that song. I think it's called Black. He was doing interviews with Vlad. He was sitting on all sorts of couches getting interviews because he had some really popping music. It was heating up all throughout 2018 and 2019. And then he made that one fatal mistake. And I won't say it's a fatal mistake, but it was a crazy mistake. He signed with Birdman and Cash Money. I don't know why he did this. I don't know. Why the fuck would you sign the bird, man? But what was the motivation for this? Uh, I guess I can figure the motivation. The motivation was the money, man. That is the only reason anybody is going to sign a contract in these days. The money up front got to be ridiculous. And it must have been nice because Glock 9 signed away to cash money. Now, since then, it's been all downhill. Now, before we get into the rest of the story, man, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And, man, let's get it. All right, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about everything since Glock 9 signed the cash money. But let's delve into his music a little bit. So, if you were ever to listen to Glock 9's music, you would be able to draw the comparisons between him and none other than Kodak Black. Now, if there's an artist that has the ear of this generation, I mean, there's only a few. You've got Kodak Black and you got NBA Youngboy. And Glock 9 sounds a lot like Kodak Black, which makes a lot of sense because they're both from Florida, even though Glock 9 is from Orlando, and they both have a similar accent, they sound similar, they got the same backstory with the streets and whatnot, but it seems like the same pitfalls that took Kodak Black down might... So, I don't know, I ain't gonna say... Nigga wanna be like Kodak, but nigga get locked up more than Kodak, you know what I'm saying? Kodak, he going in jail, he gonna stay in that bitch. Man, like nine, ten months, you know what I'm saying? Come back, drop a song, but this nigga Glock 9, this nigga come out three to five business days, you know what I'm saying? Might be the same pitfalls that take Glock 9 down. Now you, do this nigga, <clears throat> do this nigga got Friday House on? I don't know if the nigga got Friday House on, cause the nigga get locked up so much. Uh, the last song I remember is Black from 2018. Two years ago, he ain't dropped shit in two years, my nigga. He need to the studio drop some hits, my nigga. You might be asking, what do I mean? I'm talking about none other than the streets, man. The streets are undefeated like the internet. And Glock 9 has been tangling with the streets ever since he got signed, which seems odd. Because when he got signed, the original rumor was he got $2 million to sign with Birdman and Cash. This nigga ugly as hell, but Money. Why else with two mil up front? I ain't gonna cap. I ain't gonna cap two mil. That's a good check, but you could you should have just waited and see what that. Your ass probably should have waited. I ain't even gonna cap. Was he got two million dollars to sign with Birdman and Cash Money? Why else would anybody sign with Birdman and Cash Money? But I'm starting to think that wasn't true. Or 
he either ran through that two million faster than I could ever believe or anybody could believe because dude has been super active in the streets and catching a lot of cases out here. Now, back on 24 July of this year, Glock 9 was arrested on five counts of attempted second degree murder, as well as throwing and shooting into an occupied structure or dwelling and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. So Glock 9 is already a convicted felon. And he's got he's been accused of multiple shootings. I'm talking about a lot of shootings. And dude has been in the tangle and been in the trenches since he got signed. And it seemed like he even got more active when he got signed. But this could be two things. This could be... Bruh, come on now, bro. You supposed to be moving smarter than these, bro. You a million dollar nigga and you moving like a like a, like a hundred dollar nigga. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to be moving like this, bro. You a million dollar nigga. What you trying to be a hundred dollar nigga? You know them lawyers cost, bro. That bail, bond, that shit costs court fees, shit costs. I don't know shit about all that shit, but I just know it costs because I know mistakes and fuck-ups be expensive as hell because I make fuck-ups and I make mistakes. Them always be expensive, so I know your shit gonna cost a lot of money, my nigga. You probably need more than two billion. You keep getting locked up, you're gonna run it at two million. You're gonna pay all that. Yo, all your money gonna go to lawyer fees, my nigga. So, little bro, you need to tighten up, little bro. Two million ain't shit. Yo, at, I, I ain't mean two million ain't shit, but I know two million is a lot, but nigga, to a lawyer, two million ain't shit. Oh, take the KO. You're gonna need 200 bands, you know what I'm saying? Take the KO, I'm gonna need six bands. I mean, you know what I'm saying? That shit costs, bro. And can't be fucking on your money like this. And I know the way you living, your lifestyle expensive. So, you know what I'm saying? You don't need to be running through that money like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you got to be smarter, bro. You young in here. I know. You probably like, I don't know. You probably older than me, goddamn. But, bro, you got to be smart, bro. Glock 9 was always in the streets that heavy. And we didn't know it because he wasn't a rapper. And he hadn't gotten signed yet. Or he just kept on the same activity after he got signed as before he did. Now, some might say it's the haters and some might say it's just who he is. But either way, it's been having some crazy results on his hip hop career. Then next, on October 8th of this year, Glock 9 was caught up in another case, man. So only a few months after the case in July. And this is what happened. This is the breakdown. Basically, Glock 9 was at the mall and a shooting took place. And authorities believe he was the intended target of the shooting. Now, there was a whole new segment on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that down for you guys to check out and come back right after for my commentary. Last night, I'm Vanessa Eccles. And good afternoon. I'm Greg Worth. A wild scene on Eyewitness News as we brought this to you as breaking news. Documents today show that the connection to local gang activity all revolves around the intended victim here last night. Channel 9 Sierra Putman is live outside the Mall of Millennium. Sierra, you got a hold of those documents just about a half an hour ago, and they are eye-opening. Damn, B, you look dehydrated in here. Drink some water, sorry. And, uh, Greg, you know, we've been following... Damn, well, I look like she's been sleeping on that side of her head like a motherfucker. Going up on that tip. Like, this side is laid, but this side fucked up. Like, the hell is wrong with her shit? All day that this could be. Why the hell you show up to work and go live on TV looking like that, Shawty? Be related to some of that gang violence we've been reporting on. Police won't say if the dispute that led to this shooting is gang related. However, we do know the intended victim of this shooting is a local rapper with gang affiliations. Now, it turns out he was the intended victim and he actually was recently arrested connected to a different shooting. Take a look. This was the scene here at Mall of Millennia just last night. OPD swarmed the mall and even evacuated it after shots were hear heard near the food court. At first, Orlando police told us the shots were fired inside the mall, but now say the shots were fired on mall property, but outside of the building. Police named 19-year-old Trayvon Graham of Orlando as their suspect, arrested on attempted first-degree murder and discharging firearm and public charges. Police say... 
what's up with the Florida hairstyles? That shit look ugly as fuck. That shit look like a tree branch. My nigga, why the hell do y'all got a trees on your head, boy? That nigga won't look like trees. This man, Jaquavius Smith, a.k.a. local rapper Glock 9, was the intended <clears throat> victim. Smith is currently also behind bars, picked up on charges stemming from a shooting from over the summer. And last night's ordeal was scary for a local mom who was in the mall and didn't realize what she heard were actually shots. All right. So as you can see in that video clip, they're basically saying that they had to shut the mall down. Because somebody was trying to shoot at Glock 9, man. Which is a crazy situation. Number one, what in the world is y'all doing in the mall anyway? I'm I'm done with it, man. I've been saying this every day. You can just shop online, my nigga. The malls be dead as hell anyway. I ain't been to the mall in months. That shit be dead as hell. They don't be having shit in that bitch. Get your audio shit online, my nigga. Express shipping got down. Hey, man, I can't believe people still outside like that. But I guess he going to be outside, man. But Kess was trying to take Glock 9 out. Now, when they apprehended the alleged shooters, they also apprehended Glock 9. And Glock 9 is a convicted felon. So he's not, and he had his gun on. That's crazy. not allowed to have any weapons on him. And when they search him, you know what I'm saying. He had a cache of air weapons on him, man. You can see that's his MO, man. Obviously, Glock 9 is in the field out here. Nigga, just move, my nigga. Just move your family out the hood, my nigga. If you ain't fuck up the two million, just move your family out the hood, my nigga. Just, nigga, you in Atlanta to cut Atlanta somewhere. Or Texas. Go somewhere. Get the fuck out the hood, my nigga. Yeah, man. Like, whatever's going down in the streets of Orlando, he's deeply entrenched in it, man. And it's definitely taken away from the fact that he should be dropping music. And trying to further his music career. But man, what's crazy enough is that wasn't the end of it. So that was October 8th. So fast forward a couple of weeks. And on Friday, October 30th, Glock 9 got arrested again. And guess what for? Yes, he had some weapons on him, man. You see, man, like I said, this is his MO, man. So these were the charges. There were three charges, including possession of a concealed weapon by a convicted felon. Possession of a firearm by a convicted felon and possession of a shorthand gun, rifle, or machine gun. Like I said, man, Glock 9 is out here in the field, man. Like, it's going down crazy. And dude, man, has taken a turn for the worse ever since he signed ba with Baby and them, man. It's just like immediately. Why the hell would you sign a cash money? You know what the hell cash money known for? That nigga just don't learn. You got to learn. All, if you don't learn from other people's mistakes, you're going to learn from your own mistakes, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? If you don't learn from Kodak, you're going to learn from your own mistakes. If you don't learn from all them niggas that's on cash money that, that getting their money took, you're going to learn, my nigga. If you don't learn from other people, you're going to learn from yourself. You're going to learn from your mistakes. And you don't want to learn from your mistakes. What do you want to write and learn from somebody else? Like, you see what they do, so you don't do what they do, my nigga. That sound better than just, I don't know, nigga. Just probably, I don't know, my nigga. Things just went downhill. Now, I'm wondering, is Glock 9 ever going to get back to music? It seems like his name is always <clears throat> brought up about being a rep. This nigga named Glock 9, so you already know he's going to keep the Glock 9. Police already know. Oh, yeah, this Glock 9. He's going to have a Glock 9. This is a charge on him. Nigga. Yo, name Glock 9, you gotta have the Glock 9. The police already know you got the Glock 9, so you all have Glock 9. You know you got the Glock 9, so you so they gonna charge your way with the Glock 9. Every headline you've seen about Glock 9 since he's been a name in hip hop, he's been arrested, weapons, shooting. When is it gonna get to the music? Or is it too far gone? And man, we could just see this train wreck coming. Now, with that, this been your boy Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe oh, button and make sure you hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace. Omar the director. Omar, director. Director. Hold up. Clock nine. What's the what's the latest shit this nigga done drop? Alright, this from one month ago. This shit better be fine, my nigga.
This is President Barack Obama, and I'm supporting John Ossoff for Senate. John has dedicated hey, his career to fighting injustice. The only way you could keep getting locked up is if your music hard. You know what I'm saying? If your music not hard, so you just a nigga that just keep getting arrested. If your music not hard, he ain't gonna hit this whole for show. Hey. Can I hit this whole show? Shots need a beat. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feel a ski. Mm -hmm. Hey, free your fat. Fill up. Melody, he free. Uh, free some gutter. Mm -hmm. He called 23. Mm -hmm. Free great bears. Mm -hmm. Free all them lemon feet. Mm -hmm. What you saying? Mm -hmm. Nothing no, 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 with me. Uh, I don't know about no stuff. But slow, we come through like a band. One man, one sound. We let our rounds when we stand. That bunch of boots ain't knowing what about nothing that nigga stand. But this shit not fire, but this shit really ass. I ain't even gonna count this shit not hard. Step us slow, we come through like a band. One man, one sound, we let our rounds when we stand. That bunch of poop ain't knowing what about nothing that nigga stand. Alright, anyway, anyway, hey, this that Glock 9. Yeah, man, free that boy Glock 9. We free that little stupid that boy Glock 9. Man.